let's move on to Nicki Minaj, man. Damn, that shit, that shit blew me, bro. That shit kind of blew me, man. Nicki Minaj is a living legend in rap. Let's talk about the, the downfall of Nicki Minaj. Let's, let's do that, bro. Let's make the bars mad. Let's talk about this shit, bro. She has over 100 million records sold, 23 top 10 Billboard Hot Jesus 100 Christ, singles, man. three number one singles, three number one albums, 148 Billboard Hot 1 entries making her the number five of all time, nine American Music Awards, 12 BET Awards, eight MTV Video Music Awards, four Billboard Music Awards, four People's Choice Awards, 10 Grammy nominations. Do I really need to keep going because her list of accolades is long? If Nicki Minaj quietly bowed out of the spotlight, we would all hold her in high regard as one of the most dominant and well-respected female artists of all time. But she ruined that. Her continuous self-sabotage, close associations with sexual predators, and patterns of embarrassing behavior has led to even her most diehard fans questioning the rapper's legacy. Once we dive into her history, you will start to wonder if she is trying to destroy her reputation on purpose, because her words and actions will leave any sane person dumbfounded. But the true beginning of Nicki's decay started in 2017, when one rapper exposed her so badly that the tide began shifting against Minaj. Oh, for seven shit. years in a row, 2010 to 2016, Nicki won the BET Award for Best Female Hip Hop Artist. It's almost like she was the only female rapper. Obviously she wasn't, but mm. to hip hop fans it kind of felt like that. Now sure, over the years she had some beef with other female artists, like Lil' Kim, Mariah Carey, Iggy Azalea, and even Miley Cyrus. Bro, so what happened? That's, that needs to be a video. What happened to Iggy Azalea? That's what I want to know. That's the question. What happened to Iggy Azalea? Cyrus. And now, back to... I don't know why, but something about, like, this was... Like, look, since we're on the Nicki, Nicki, Nicki Minaj downfall thing, okay? This was always kind of, like, cringe to me, just the way she did it. Because it's like, bro, it's, it's Hannah Montana, bro. I'm sorry. It's Hannah Montana, bro. Like if you was really going at some, if you was really going at somebody, downfall question mark? Yeah, bro. It says Nicki Minaj's downfall, and it's Patrick CC's video, and he he only spits facts, bro. I'm sorry, but it's Hannah Montana, man. Like, come on, man. This that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? But none of these feuds had any real negative impact on Nicki's career, especially when you compare them to Remy Ma, who was the first rapper to successfully break down Nicki Minaj. Why is this like a, like a jump scare photo? When Remy Ma was incarcerated in 2007, she left behind massive shoes in the female rap scene that Nicki arguably filled. Minaj cemented her name in rap history throughout the next couple of years, being dubbed the Queen of Rap, among other Yeah, illustri that, was, that was a bad picture. Like, that was, that was, does she have contacts in, by the way? ...titles. When Remy was released from prison in 2014, the female rap scene had changed drastically, and she was nowhere near as relevant in the eyes of music listeners. But Remy still gave Minaj her props. What I can say is that she's a wonderful woman and she's she's on the same page with me like that. There's no need to try to tear somebody down. I, I can say what I said. You no, know, I let her know that I'm super proud of her. Despite her being cordial, Remy likely felt hungry to take back the queen of hip hop crown. And what's a better way to show that she is a more skilled rapper than Nicki than remixing her songs? She released freestyles to Minaj's Only and Truffle Butter. On Truffle Butter, what is that picture? Remy suspected she took subliminal shots at Nicki. People keep saying, Remy you need to drop a rap. I'm tired of this rap shit. <laughs> what rap shit, man? I'm like, in a minute, let me body his records. Yeah, for the millions, I will kill these pop hoes. Oh my God. Even though it seemed Snapped. like a feud might be brewing, Remy continued voicing her support for Nicki and vice versa, with Nicki hinting at a potential collaboration in the future. Remy continued releasing music seemingly filled with subliminal disses towards Nicki for two years, and eventually Nicki took the bait. On Jason Derulo's single, Swala, Nicki said, I gave these two years. Now your time's up. Bless her heart, she's throwing shots, but every line sucks. Two days later, Nicki was featured on Gucci Mane's Make Love, where she took even more shots aimed at Remy. Oh, you the queen of this here? One platinum plaque, album flopped, 
Chwer. This was clearly aimed at Remy who consistently called herself the queen of NYC, but Remy comes from a class of hip-hop MCs that don't take disses lightly, so she clapped back at Nicki with a full-fledged cutthroat diss track. Mm. Sheether was Remy's 2017 remix of Nas's diss track on yeah. Jay-Z titled Ether, which is widely regarded as one of the most iconic hip-hop diss tracks of all time. Like Nas, Remy delivered a barrage of scathing insults and criticisms aimed at Nicki, attacking everything from her appearance to her credibility as an artist. She claims that Nicki had sex with Lil Wayne, Drake, Trey Songz, Ebro, Gucci Mane. She claims that Ebro? Wait, Ebro like, like the, the, the radio dude? <laughs> that Nikki had sex with Lil Wayne, Drake, Trey Songz, huh? Ebro, Gucci Mane. She claims that Nikki's butt implants. Oh my God! Oh, I remember this picture. Chat, was this real or Photoshop? This was Photoshop, right? Like, I think this was like Photoshop. This, like, this is no way it's real, right? It's like I think this is Photoshop. It's got to be Photoshop, bro. They just trying to make her look bad. Nah, they trying to do the queen dirty, bro. This is not real. Huh? Huh? But why it look like future Loki trying to fix it and put it back in place though? Popped, which led to a downfall in her and Meek Mill's relationship. She also said that Nikki. Oh my god, Meek Mill. Oh my gosh. Is he still tweeting, bro? He hasn't stopped tweeting since like the gay allegations came out, bro. Like, it's okay, bro. Like, it's okay. It's, it's, fi it's fine, bro. Like, at this point, just own it, dude. Get BBL surgeries, which have resulted in numerous deaths while under the knife. She claimed that Nikki uses ghostwriters and even hard drugs. She also criticized Nikki about her support for her brother, who is a convicted pedophile. At this point in her career, oh. Nikki seemed invincible, and she had never been directly attacked at this magnitude by another female rapper. And I think that's what made her, like, get comfortable and start talking crazy, bro. People patiently awaited to hear Nikki's response, with many thinking it would be one of the greatest diss tracks of all time, but she choked and barely responded. Trying to act unimpressed by the response, Nikki took to Instagram and posted a now deleted screenshot of an article referencing Fat Joe and Remy Ma's album opening week sales, which is the stereotypical response for a more popular rap. True, true. Talk about numbers, talk about money, you know, all that shit. Her to brag about sales numbers while avoiding the serious accusations. She also posted audio of Beyonce referencing her as a rap queen. I met this girl named Nikki. I guess you could say she was the rap queen. Remy then appeared on the Wendy Williams show where she discussed why she dissed Nikki in the first place. She dressed in all black, implying that her outfit was funeral attire for Nikki. That's fire. It took Minaj two weeks to respond with a rap. Yo, did what happened? With is Wendy Williams good? Like the last thing I heard was like. I, like some, something was wrong with her. I think it was just something bad. What happened? Is she good, bro? Does anybody know? Does anybody got news, man? No frauds. Record called No Frauds, where she accused Remy of getting plastic surgery. Dementia, that's what it is. Ah, oh, shit. Surgery, using ghostwriters, and a plethora of the exact same things that Remy accused Nikki plethora. of doing. I love that word. Her response was basically, I know you are. Look at that clean shaven man. I know you are, but what am I? 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 Or, but what am I? Despite Nikki's cult-like fan base supporting her, the industry essentially declared Remy the winner, as she dethroned Nikki's seven-year run as the best female hip-hop artist at the 2017 BET Awards. Y'all got fat while we starved. Shots in your pads in your bras. Y'all some liars. It ain't no facts in your song. And yeah, that crown is coming back to the Bronx. Nicki Minaj hasn't won this award ever. That look like it's her reaction to the thing. Miss, did she just really do that? I know she wasn't in the crowd. She she probably didn't even show up. I pr I'm pretty sure she got word. I'm pretty sure she got word that she did not. Uh, she she not she's not gonna win, bro. Ever since those who saw Minaj as the epitome of female rap just witnessed her getting Golly. embarrassed and disrespected. She failed to address the onslaught of Remy's attacks and just continued to flex her wealth and sales numbers. Many thought because Nikki avoided the allegations, they must be true. But it's possible that this beef was just strictly entertainment and Nikki tucked her tail and took the L because she knew she was the weaker MC. Mm. Plus, any attention Nikki gave Remy only made her more relevant. But things got even worse for Nikki. There was a new poppin' female rapper from New York called Cardi. B, and she had no thing is she's on the downfall but that cult is always going to give her money and support i mean true can't be mad at that though no intentions <gasps> on cardi b who's this guy <laughs> the fuck
bowing down to Minaj. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. Underdog is the easiest way to play fantasy sports. Not just basketball, you can make picks on baseball. Are you encouraging your fan base to gamble? Ooh. I'm gonna make a video on you. That's my next channel. That's my next main channel video. How my favorite YouTuber endorsed gambling to children, even though there's clearly a symbol here that says must be 18 plus. 19 plus in Atlanta, New, New England, or New Zealand, New, North Philadelphia, Arizona, and Massachusetts. Uh, chat, what is any? What the fuck? I've never seen that symbol. N-E? <laughs> nigga said Nebraska? Question mark? <laughs> Nevada? Nevada? Okay. <laughs> Nebraska? Fam Remy literally cheated on her husband Papoose, dog who named you, who held her down for <laughs> six summer while she was locked up, by fucking on a battle rapper in her own battle rap league. Yo! Man, send these scallywags to the gulags. Yo, man. These women ain't shit, man. Women ain't shit. I saw the King Kong Godzilla trip. It's like 30 seconds, though. Um, Kong was riding Godzilla. Football, hockey, UFC, and more. Just pick whether you think your favorite player's stats will be higher or lower, and you can make big money. You can make your own entry with as few as two picks and three extra. He was riding Godzilla, bro. Money or go bigger to win up to one hundred. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Snake, you hit the nail on the head. Kong is officially a Godzilla dick rider, bro. He's literally a dick rider, bro. Your stream thumbnail is Nicki Minaj dangling ass. <laughs> Yo. Okay, it's got to change now. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. That's an image. Oh, my God. X. Right now, Underdog is giving new customers a special pick for De'Aaron Fox. Who's this guy? I'm joking, guys. It's obviously De'Aaron Fox, player of the... Cincinnati Kings. All he needs to do is have one point to win. Here are my picks for this week's NBA games, and if it hits, I'll 6x my money. I've got a special promo. Underdog is offering new users a $100 deposit match. That's right, $100. Underdog's pick em games are available in 30 plus states, including Cal- Why am I watching this? Why haven't I fast forwarded? Because it's Patrick CC, and when he talks, I listen. California, Texas, and even Canada. All you have to do is click the link below or download Underdog via the App Store and use code PATRICKCC. That's Underdog Fantasy, promo code PATRICKCC for a first deposit match worth up to $100. It makes watching the NBA even more interesting for me. So rep your team and make your own picks with Underdog. Get this, basketball so boring that you gotta gamble while you watch it to make it entertaining. <laughs> I mean, the joke's, the joke's right itself. Okay. From the moment she stepped into the spotlight, Cardi aligned herself with Lil' Kim and Remy Ma, Smart. Nikki's biggest enemies. Remy even brought out Cardi at Summer Jam 2017, where Remy's whole performance was dedicated to dissing Nicki Minaj. Yo, chat, why are people so rude to the women that be playing basketball, bro? I mean, like, I will be on Instagram and I'll go to, like, sports, sports center where posts, like, like the girls basketball thing or something some shit like that and then i go to the comments and these niggas are always like it's always negative and i'd be like damn why bruh why do they like they just trying to play too bro and then when when it was steph and the girl they were shooting like doing the three seconds i was like okay like there's no way that they could hate on this like it's just like went to the comments their ball is smaller and she's closer to the net. This shit's ass and she's still lost. <laughs> I'm just like, bro, like, what do we like? What? Like, like, what? Like, why are they so mad, bro? Come on, let's do better, man. They're they're all good players, bro. Therefore, Nikki declared Cardi her enemy. But Cardi was different than I don't really care. I just wanted to, I just wanted to bring that up because I was like always been on my mind. I was like, yo, why do they shit on them like that, bro? 
Grammy. She actually had a chance to dethrone Nikki's spotlight, and maybe even compete with her sales numbers. Cardi had the same appeal as Nikki. She could rap, she had the charisma and humor, she could do pop music, she had the sex appeal, and she was even supporting a similar bob hairstyle. During summer of 2017, Bro, Cardi, Cardi dropped B her song funny, Bodak Yellow, I which was like the hottest record funny. of the summer. All of the spotlight was on Cardi, so Nikki immediately took shots at the rapper. London on the track released a song titled No Flag, where Nikki is heard rapping, I heard these labels are trying to make another me. Everything you're getting, little ho, is because of me. With how successful Nikki's career had been- I do think that Nicki Minaj does rap better than Cardi B. What do y'all think? Cardi is not fun. She's, she's funny to me. Funny she a comedian. Bro, she's kind of funny. Like, it's her personality. It's her, to me, it's her personality. She's funny, bro. I don't know. It's just, yes, it can be annoying, but this finna be an hour long video chat. When's the last time I just like did a reaction and like just was chilling, bro? Like talking. <laughs> Sorry, man. LeBron James has made 2,100 dunks by himself in his career. In the entire history of the WNBA, there have been 37 dunks. That's why people flame them lol. But what's crazy is people even be getting on, like people be hating on LeBron. I like, it seems like it don't matter what you do. People are just going to hate you, bro. Like I've already, I've already known that, but it's just seeing that, that people can actively hate on LeBron and be like, are we going to post everything he do? Or like, it, I'm just like, are we like, it just, it just like puts at my mind at ease. Like whenever I see people uh, talking, like talking shit, nipple. Whenever I see people talking shit, I'm just like, damn. It's like it really don't matter what you do. You can you could be apologetic, you could be a nice person. Niggas are gonna find something to be mad about. And it's not a stretch to think record labels viewed her as the blueprint to producing the next megastar in female rap. Plus, when you consider that UK rapper Lady Lesher. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just look at the chat, bro. I just look at the chat. And I know this is probably a little fucking boy. Chief Keef or Dookie Dennis? <laughs> what? Wait, read donations between be before what? Oh, shit. Wait, why? I didn't hear these read out. Uh, fam, Lemmy, Remy. Oh, I, I read that one. The underdog ad got me thinking about sports. Uh, Dante, what are your thoughts on Russell Wilson going to the Steelers? Oh, yeah. And destroying being a starter. The starting kicker for his pro team. Oh my god, did he drop a new video? I did see the I did see the destroying thing though. I saw a clip on Instagram. I was super happy. I was like, yo, see? Oh my gosh, he did it. Went to the comments. People were actually like, he finally did it. Da 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 da. Da da da. He not in the NFL though. Like that's what people that's what some people are saying. But it's like, bro, oh my god, I'm so glad he just shut those people up. Oh my god, I'm so glad he he did it and he shut them up, bro. They're like it's just the most satisfying feeling. I got to watch that video. I got to watch the video. Uh, but as for Russell Wilson going to the Steelers, um, I mean, I mean, we can't, it's not like we can, we're, it's only up from like this, the, what, what, what just happened with the, with our quarter, with our season. So, you know, it's only up, man. Stated that Atlantic Records offered her a 250,000 euro deal if she made a diss track about Minaj. It's not cope. Okay, let me stop pausing because somebody's going to be mad that I'm talking. You start to wonder if Atlantic Records, the same label that signed Cardi B, may have encouraged her to imitate and potentially engage in beef with Nicki. Because Cardi seemingly responded to Nicki on stage. You know this She never fucking liked me and no number said if she want to be friends with me, no bitch. At the time, it wouldn't really make sense for Cardi B to be enemies with Nicki Minaj. But from a business and marketing perspective, I could see a label encouraging this beef to keep fans engaged and boost sales numbers. Yeah. In fact, Cardi's Barty gang and Nicki's Barb's fan bases actively fought each other on social media. Yeah. Oh my God. Degenerates. I'm sorry. I, spice I said it. better. She actually got a natural S. No injections. We need to support natural booty. Come on, chat, are you with me? So instead of actually supporting good music, we're just going by body type now? That's really where we're going. Rap is about music, not a beauty show, man. All right? Not a beauty show. The fact that y'all are saying yes is why music is where it's at now, man. And look at all these people. I know they I know they be behind accounts just talking shit. Bro, it just hit me that Cardi B sound like Riley from the Boondocks. I've been Go back and listen to that clip again. I'm dying. I've been realized that. And I think that's why 
I feel like she's funny, bro. It's just like some of the stuff that she say, it just remind me of like, like Riley. Like I, I just see Riley from the boondock saying it, bro. The barbs even- That bitch never liked me, man. Jail nigga, you gay, man. Teamed up with the Swifties to excessively- nah, LeBron earned his hate. Homie literally went on his show and said the 2016 championship made me the greatest basketball player of all time. Niggas was like, nigga what? The fuck you tell him about? It's poor taste, and why none of the others ever said that? LeBron is the GOAT. I don't even watch basketball. But, uh, who was the leading, uh, uh, like, here, 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 guys. Who was the leading role in Space Jam 2? Oh, I rest my case, bro. The fuck? You're not gonna get a half-assed basketball player. You're gonna get the best to play that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. Stream Taylor's Look What You Made Me Do in an attempt to keep Taylor at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, but they ultimately failed as Bodak Yellow landed at the number one spot, breaking a record that Nicki could never do by herself. Cardi Yo, I know, like, I know, I understand there's probably people who, like, are really getting sick of me, okay? But just know when I say the things that I'm saying, I am dead ass. I'm just saying it, I'm just like, I don't, I'm not like pouring my heart caring about it, but I do mean it though. Like, the nigga, what? He was in Space Jam too, bro. <laughs> before, before him, it was Michael Jordan. So it's like, if it's Michael Jordan and then it's LeBron James, it's like, I'm seeing a, I, I'm, I'm seeing something happening here. Only the best. B became the first female Only rapper. the best can hang out with Bugs Bunny and them, bro. You know who else hung out with Bugs Bunny and who we really fuck with? Brandon Frazier. Make it make sense. I'm really spitting right now. Y'all not listening. Her with a number one solo single since Lauryn Hill's doo-wop in 1998. Bodak Yellow stayed at number one on the Hot 100. You kind of look like L Luca Don... K All right, bro for three consecutive weeks at this point nikki had never achieved a number one song plus i miss just gaming bro i miss just gaming like oh my god i miss just playing games and like when y'all niggas wasn't even talking in the chat y'all was just watching <laughs> why do y'all just say the most stupid shit man i still can't get over chief keep or dookie dookie <laughs> niggas just be typing shit to type bro Plus, she was 35 and her prime was seemingly behind her. Cardi's commercial impact could not be denied, and perhaps Nikki wanted to establish a truce. She congratulated Cardi on the massive achievement on Twitter, but that truce only lasted a few weeks because Nikki's jealousy would. Not going light, I have to warn you to stay out the basketball world. They're worse than anime niggas, I'm telling you right now. There's no way. There's n I, I refuse to believe that there's anything worse than, than, an than the anime community. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe that they are. How though? How, bro? Like I can't see, I can't see like a basketball dude making a cringe, like a cringe video, like an anime person could. I can see them being toxic in the comments and stuff like that. Maybe take. Since we're talking about anime. Just kidding. I don't know. It makes me kind of want to do something like basketball related just to see how bad it is. <laughs> like, out of context, like not even no context, just post a video talking about basketball and just see what the happens in the comments. Oh my God. Okay, wait. Quick diversion. Quick diversion. Uh, chat, what's like a basketball thing? Like what? Yo, uh, we were never left. What was the weird cut? What are you talking about? Your video just skipped. To eat away at her. In October of 2017, the Migos released a single titled Motorsport in which they requested a feature from Nikki. In Nikki's verse, she said, if Cardi is the QB, then I'm Nick Lombardi. To explain the reference, an NFL quarterback like Patrick Mahomes is typically the star of the team. But Vince Lombardi is one of the greatest NFL coaches of all time. He was an executive of the NFL and the trophy that is given to the Super Bowl Yo, winner is called the Lombardi. I'm, I'm just thinking about it. YouTube is about to be so, they're about to be so confused, bro. The <laughs> trophy. Nikki's essentially saying here, if Cardi's the star of a team, then I'm a legend. 
I'm the damn trophy that you work your whole life to achieve. Mm. However, once Nikki found out that Cardi was going to be on the song, she changed the lyric to, if Quavo is the QB, then I'm Nick Lombardi, which doesn't really make sense, nor does it rhyme. Despite this, Cardi insisted that there was no beef between the two. I just feel like it's really internet made of fans and people, they really want to see that happen because it's really entertaining. To see people beef is entertaining. But the beef would be confirmed to be true when the two got into a physical altercation a few months later. What? At Harper's Bazaar's Icons party during New York Wait, Fashion Week, fought, fought? multiple videos of the two fighting quickly circulated online with one even showing Cardi oh, attempting this. to throw oh, yeah, a shoe this. at Nikki. In one of the videos, oh, Cardi really. can be heard making some damning threats. Cardi was later seen exiting the venue with a with massive a knife. on her oh forehead. My God. Nikki said she was embarrassed about the whole situation. The other night, I was a part. And Nikki doesn't have any kids, right? Part of something so mortifying and so humiliating. Then Cardi responded with, "How you say that I was the the wild animal? That I attacked you? That you was mortified? That you was humiliated?" Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. She the one that left with a big ass knot in her head. If we if we being for real, man. She has a son. What? Playing the victim, but now you're the gangster. You need to pick a side. Wait, wait, wait. When did this happen, bro? Is this recent? Yeah, yeah. My name is Riley, son. But you know, niggas call me AK. Oh, shit, my fault. Check. The other night, I was a part of something so mortifying <laughs> and so humiliating. And Cardi <laughs> responded with. How you say that I was the, the wild animal, yeah, yeah, that my I name attacked is Riley, you, son. that you was you mortified, that you was humiliated, AKA playing Riley the victim, Escobar. but now no, you're the saying? gangster, you need to pick a side. Streets, do you want to no, be the victim or do you want to be the gangster? Like you learn so much, you can't even uh, keep up with also that. Known Cardi posted AKA. her reasoning behind the attack the following day. Bro, this she is why I like Patrick's videos, bro. It's like he he he's showing, like... You show the you show the receipts, man. You ain't just talking out your your your, your perky ass, man. Uh, I ain't reading all that. Accused Nikki of trying to blackball her, intimidate her, and worst of all, speaking ill of her child. Everyone took Cardi's side since they understood that defending their children is yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, hold on. The defending your children is what important. However, oh god, it is, bro. I stand with DDG when it, when he when he, bro. I ain't gonna lie, he massacred that nigga, bro. He massacred that nigga, but I mean. You don't talk about somebody. You ain't gonna. You ain't gonna sit around and talk about my girl. Bro. I'm sorry. You're just, that's just not gonna happen. So I stand beside him. I seen people saying like, "This is why I don't like DDG. This is why DDG corny. DDG do the most." Da, da, da. Bro, what? Y'all niggas. If you're not willing to defend yours, you don't deserve him at all, bro. You don't deserve him at all, man. Nikki vehemently denied that she ever spoke bad about Cardi's daughter. She also called out Cardi's hypocrisy by revealing old Instagram screenshots where Cardi repeatedly. There's no way this is real. She attacked a mother whose son died. She also. Oh, she's talking to a fan. Fan. Also referred to the deceased child as a monkey. Cardi also accused Nikki of trying to interrupt or ruin. Ooh, see, like. I'm all about, you know, shitting on niggas that's talking crazy and getting in like, but like, that's, that's, that's insane, bro. Like, that's actually, that's just insane, bro. Uh, 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 damn. And her financial opportunities, money that would help. Uh, but I, I bet that person won't talk shit in comment sections ever again, though, right? <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, bro. R.I.P. to that baby her feed her family so nikki again called out cardi's hypocrisy now we gonna get into some things I'm yeah, i feel like if you ever met if like you if somebody irritates you i feel like it's it should always be directly between you and that person if somebody says something you don't like i feel like it should always be directly between you and that person um unless like if they bring something outside of it Lamau Cardi turned into Auntie Ruckus. 
She said fuck you and that pink-lipped baboon child of yours and whatever fried chicken he rode in on. Your watermelon chugging jigaboo nigaboo. Um, yeah, it does depend on how mad you're, like, it does depend on what they say, though, because it's like, if somebody's talking crazy about your girl, and then you go and look at their girl, it's like, yo, my nigga, are you dead ass? Like, this is what you're doing? Or if somebody's talking crazy about your, your child? Well, you still, you, sh you shouldn't go for a child, though. Like, I, I feel like, I feel like children should be off limits. They're literally children. So if somebody's talking about your child, you just got to kill them. Tired of people lying on me. Now, you want to talk about stopping bags? There's two innocent girls in a strip club right now that ain't did nothing but go to the strip club and get money. Now they can't get no money. So who's stopping bags? Because you got grown ass fucking men showing up to where the f they at and where they work at. They can't feed their um. kids. They can't feed their fucking family. You mad at a woman for what a man is doing. And that's the problem with so many black women and women, period. Oh, because she not black. Because she refers to you black women. Oh, we got the receipts for that, too. FYI, she refers to black women as monkeys and roaches. Wait. Fix that dusty ass weave and grow your edges. Then talk to me ugly looking like a fucking roach. What what she say, though? What the, what the girl say, though? I'm sorry, but like. I know how this works. I know how this works. So I need to see the other side. And I can could, I could see if she went too far. I need to see the other side. So what did she say? Because it looks like the tweets is deleted. Uh-uh. Can't get by on me. Let's see. Uh, let's follow this. Lachelle J. Um, I don't see the tweets anywhere. I, do, I don't see the tweets anywhere. All right. Well, yeah. <gasps> Roaches! Cardi never responded to this directly. She was done with the back and forth and made a declaration that Nikki did not want to accept. We could settle it however you want to settle it. We could talk about it or we could fight it out. I'm with whatever. Regardless of who you think was right in this situation. Chat, who do y'all think was right? I literally don't know uh, what's like, what's going on. I literally just, I go by music because I just don't got time to be deep in to delving into like the personal lives. Uh, so I literally only, I, I just go by music, bro. And if we go by bars, like, I think Nicki Minaj significantly, like, raps better than Cardi B. Like, Cardi B got, like, good songs. But if we talking about, like, bars, I gotta go Nicki Minaj. Uh, but if we talking about, like, you know. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. Let's get a barrel to work off from Nicki and Cardi. All right. Uh, I will say this, though. Cardi's funnier to me i think she's hilarious it was evident that female rappers had no intentions on bowing down and declaring nikki as the queen of rap her dominance over the culture was fading cardi was just the first of many emerging female <gasps> oh shit artists that we see dominating hip-hop now now there's like hella yeah there's hella female artists out now today and it seemed like nikki was slowly losing her mind that is insane seemingly grasping at straws to keep the public on her side. But the more she got on social media to rant, the worse it got for her. Yeah, take notes, Meek Mill. On August 10th, 2018, Nicki released her fourth studio album, Queen. Led by singles like Chun Li and Barbie Dreams, the album received positive reviews from critics. Queen debuted at number two on the Billboard. I don't know if Cardi funnier. Get up on your good foot is hilarious and sick lamau. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's, that's insane. 200 after selling 185,000 units first week. Now this was Nikki's worst album performance, but number two is still considered a wildly successful debut. She just released at a competitive time. Travis Scott's Astro World dropped the week before, mm. which was the single most anticipated album of 2018, yeah. and he delivered as it was a great project. Astro World remained at number one for a second week in a row with 205,000. Damn, I remember that chat. What's the next album dropping? <clears throat> That's like got big big anticipation like that or it's like near that man because i really don't know i'm just kind of just here <gasps> oh my god j cole you're right j cole the fall off holy shit i'm so I, I can't wait for that shit that's the one i like i can't wait for for a friday for the stream sales. With the Cardi B beef still fresh, Cardi fans had even more ammo since her debut album reached number one just a few months earlier. Mm. On top of that, Cardi outsold Nicki. Nicki being number two was further proof to her detractors that she is not the dominant force she once was, so she started blaming everyone but herself for the album not reaching number one. She tweeted, Spotify put Drake's face on every playlist but told me they'd have to teach me a lesson for playing my music 10 minutes early on Queen Radio, even though they've been giving away my music for free for 
for years. Yeah, this seems like cope, man and I'm one of the top Spotify artists of all time. Nikki also blamed her label for not standing up for her because they feared Spotify would retaliate and not promote her friend and frequent collaborator Ariana Grande's album Sweetener that released around the same time. Spotify eventually addressed Nikki's claims, denying all allegations of mistreatment. Spotify supported Nicki Minaj with a Times Square billboard, a host of the largest playlists, New Music Friday, and the New Music Release Shelf. A representative for Spotify told Business Insider, her song Bed actually saw an increase based on the promotions put behind the campaign. The company continues to be big fans of Nikki. Mm. After Spotify proved her wrong, Nikki could no longer blame them, oh, so she shit. shifted her anger towards Travis himself. I put my blood, sweat, and tears in writing a dope album only for Travis Scott to have Kylie Jenner post a tour pass telling people to come see her and Stormy. I'm actually laughing. For context, Kylie Jenner promoted Travis Scott's online store to Instagram with the caption, me and Storm ready for tour, to which Nikki claims that Travis sold 50,000 album music units because of Kylie's promotion. All purchases of his t-shirts, oh hoodies, God, hats, and keychains automatically came with bad. a digital download this of Astro World, which counted as one She's literally coming off as like a hater. On album sale, even though the buyer is not required to actually download or listen to the album. This has been a common strategy for artists to exploit the Billboard charts for over a decade. But what we're not going to do is have this auto tool man Changing coming subjects. up here. How are you feeling about Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor? Uh, I mean, we only did like the one uh the one episode but from the one episode i'm really it's oh my god it's actually cool bro it's fire bro selling fucking sweaters <clears throat> and telling y'all he sold half a million fucking albums because he didn't and it's a lot of rappers behind the scene that want to talk about it and they're scared you're a fucking man you got your fucking homeboy talking for you and you got your girlfriend posting tour passes saying you sold albums. Stop it! Firstly, Nikki calling Travis Autotune Man is a non-insult considering her love for the effect. Secondly, her being angry about bundle sales is ironic because she tried to do this exact same strategy. According to an article published by Rolling Stone, on her online store, Nikki had an array of merch and album bundles available. She also provided a concert package to her upcoming joint tour with rapper Future. Each time a fan purchased a concert package, they received free copies of her album which substantially impacted the sales for Queen. Mm. Nikki also tried to boost her numbers after the album's official release by adding her previous release track Fifi to the album which would count towards the album's total streaming numbers. Mm. But none of it worked. Nikki oh. had no one else to blame. Oh, no. She had to just accept that people didn't want her album, her merch, or her tour as much as they wanted Travis's or oh. Cardi B's. Oh, no. As if 2018 couldn't get any crazier for Nikki, the public found out about her boyfriend's dark past, which changed her reputation forever. Nikki began to publicly post about her boyfriend, Kenneth Petty, after a few months of dating, with sources close to Minaj claiming that they were already considered getting married and having babies. But Nikki's fans weren't so supportive of Kenneth as he is a convicted sex offender stemming back to the 90s. Kenneth initially pleaded not guilty to all charges. However, during a hearing on April 5th, 1995, Petty withdrew his not guilty plea and instead pleaded guilty to the charge of attempted rape. He was sentenced to 18 to 54 months in prison but served nearly four years before uh see i didn't um i didn't know any of this uh what the fuck for his release in january of 1999 if kenneth is considered a tier 2 or tier 3 sex offender he must remain on the sex offender registry for at least 20 years as well as report his current address to the department of justice every six months which is why in july of 2022 petty was sentenced in los angeles to probation and home detention for failing to register as a sex offender kenneth was also ordered to pay a fifty-five thousand dollar fine as a part of his sentence of three years probation and one year of home detention according to the I US honestly don't get this beef. Don't even view them in the same category outside of the typical female sexual appeal. What else is the comparison? <clears throat> Nikki actually writes and raps, Cardi has writers. It's like comparing Prince to Elvis or something. I mean, that's why I said I feel like, I already said, like, I feel like Nicki Minaj significantly raps better than Cardi, but I don't know. This, th But this stuff is like this stuff is not looking good. They both are writers. I'm not even surprised, bro. Like, I'm, I'm really not surprised. It's, bro, who knows who doesn't have writers, bro? Like, who, who like, it's just, it's not like they're going to outright say it. Attorney's office. But it is on, like, 
credit song credits and shit. But it gets even worse. Since the public became so invested in Nikki's relationship, media outlets began reporting on the 26-year-old trial, which led to Petty's victim, Jennifer Hugh, having to relive this horrific time of her oh. life. She even claimed that the associates of Minaj and Petty spent months in 2020 harassing her and offered her hundreds of thousands of dollars to basically say that the attempted rape never happened. Jennifer alleged that a man named Barry, who was close to her brother, reached out to offer his help. Barry got Jennifer on the phone with Minaj, to which she claims that Minaj tried to help her. She also quoted Nikki saying, Listen, I just need you to know, woman to woman, this really happened. Jennifer was confused. Why would Nicki Minaj want to help her husband's victim? Well, if Jennifer were to say that the 1995 case was a lie, then Nicki's reputation to the public might be saved. Barry allegedly parked in a car outside her house. Jennifer said he offered her $20,000 in cash if she agreed to sign a letter he typed that stated she lied about her assault. Jennifer refused any and all offers of financial compensation to change her story. Jennifer became even more fearful when she received received a call from her brother asking if she was okay. He told her that their cousin had called him again, and that this time he sounded terrified, telling them that they knew where she lived. Jennifer moved and changed her phone number as she feared for her safety. She did not know who was looking for her, but she did not want to take any chances. She ended up moving three times over the course of a couple years. Yo, I think this is like one of the perfect examples of people like, like just they just trying to listen to the music because like how is this been out and like she just like like i mean she just still here though like doing her thing she believes that she was being intimidated stalked also she could change her story and clear because this is like illegal Eddie's name to the public, like what? but she stayed strong and refused to give in. She actually ended up suing the Petties for $20 million for her claim she endured a relentless campaign of bribery, intimidation, harassment, and stalking. But then Petty accused Hugh of going out of her way to publicly shame him. Jennifer even went as far as releasing never-before-seen photos from 1994 with bruises on her neck and body after the assault. Jennifer said, When I was 16, nobody believed me, and now it feels the same. It feels like I'm fighting for my character. Petty and Minaj's legal teams denied all accusations and are more than ready to defend themselves. In She's trying to cover her face, but sis, she got your whole chain on. What, like, is that your name on, on the chain? court. Since Minaj hasn't directly responded to these allegations, it's impossible to say she is guilty of bribery and intimidation. Not responding is probably the smartest thing Nikki has ever done. But even if the truth comes out that she never intimidated this woman, fans still wonder why out of all people Nikki chose to be with, she landed on Kenneth Petty. After all, this wasn't his only crime. Petty was- It's, it's like, it's so crazy because it's Nikki Minaj. She could literally get any dude, any dude. That she that she wants. Oh, that was her sister. Wait, why was her sister? Lamar Bra, who we supposed to root for? Miss, I cheated on my husband and fucked my employee. Battle rapper Remy. I call black women monkey, roaches, chimpanzees, and drug men so that I can rob them. Cardi, look it up. Or miss my husband diddles children. Uh, I mean that's you know. That's what it is. It's like you either just like things for what it is or you could look deeper into it and then just not like anything. Because if you look deep enough into anybody, like artists, actors, um, companies, you're, it's just a lot of things. You, you just wouldn't go outside unless you looked into who built your house. Like if you looked into the guy who built your house, bro, you, you, you'd be like, oh my God, I can't live here knowing that the person who, who, who made this house is like, oh dear God. Like y you literally couldn't do anything because, oh my gosh, if we really looked in, like somebody weird did some shit, bro. Like, or, like somebody weird made some shit that we just, we, we use, bro. Or that we listen to or drive or like, you're like, oh my gosh, this is like, directly responded to these allegations, it's impossible to say she is guilty of bribery and intimidation. Not responding is probably the smartest thing Nikki has- You too. What the fuck does that mean? Has ever done. But even if the truth comes out that she never intimidated this woman, fans still wonder why out of all people Nikki chose to be with- Bro, 
the most people can say about me is that uh I mean I mean to my I mean to my fans uh I talk too much and I, I'm I mean I'm an asshole or something like that. like that's that's literally the worst that people can say to me uh Dante's an asshole to his fans when in actuality the niggas that I be talking to are not my fans they're dick riders bro oh my god oh my god there's actually something there's a bar yo I gotta react to this Kyle dropped a freestyle like Kyle I I spy with my little eye he dropped a freestyle I didn't I haven't heard it yet but I heard a snippet I, I heard a snippet and he he said how his haters are on his fan pages now and oh my god that nigga spit that nigga spit man uh Kyle freestyle I gotta check we gotta check that uh, we I've gotta check this out after this she landed on Kenneth Petty. After all, this wasn't his only crime. Petty was also responsible for the shooting death of Lamont Robinson in 2002. The original charge was murder in the second degree, but following a plea bargain, he pled guilty to manslaughter, to which he was sentenced to 10 years in federal prison for. TV host Jesse Palmer aired a segment on Dan You know what's crazy? It's like, it's, it's, it's crazy how things are like, just kinda accepted now. I feel like it seems like the 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 um abuse like the assault is worse than the murder because what rapper isn't like isn't talking about how they murdered people or has or has murdered people or are in jail doing murder and we all be like yo we can't wait for this this album to drop or we can't wait for this project to drop there are people there has been rappers who have been in jail for shit and they drop tracks from their phone in jail and niggas be hype off it so it's like it's crazy how murder has become just like a oh oh he murdered somebody damn that's crazy wait he he assaulted a girl oh no nah. that nigga's out of here bro that nigga's out of here bro it's kind of crazy bro it's like why i feel like they're like they're both bad but like bro taking a life how is like what what are we doing bro why is she with him how did she pick him did we see how many mug shots he had why did she pick him, bro? Daily Mail TV regarding Nicki's relationship where he said that Nicki's fans were, quote, worried because this isn't the first time Nicki Minaj has defended a sex offender. He then clarified that Nicki had allegedly oh been supporting her brother while he was behind bars. Nicki oh, shit. Well, well, chat, to be fair on Nicki's side, to be I fair on Nicki's side, that's, that's our brother. Now that's not all they can say about you. You built like a half eaten Popeyes three piece combo. You got the facial hair consistency of a weak shaved asshole. You got the back of plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie. I can keep going, but you get the point. I love Tony just made a video about this. Lol, here's the link. All right, and but then if I snap at you, if I say something, if I say anything to you, oh, there he go, being an asshole again. Dante always snapping on his fans. <laughs> you're lying. You're lying. You're setting me up. You're setting me Killing, up. Killing, crime, death, stealing, murder, killing, killing, murders, murders, and killing. Uh, it says he kissed the guy. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my, this is so real. This is so real, bro. Hell oh, no, man. Somebody get this nah. criminal off the streets. Nah. He likes me. That shit ain't right, man. Killing, <laughs> crime, death, stealing, murder, killing, killing murders, murders, and killing. Uh, it says he kissed the guy. What the what? fuck? Oh, hell no. That's facts, man. He proceeded to have an outburst on Instagram, saying, You just lied on me on national television, and now you're being sued. You better be able to back up what you just said. Yeah, we're, on, we're on the shadow of Mordor later. About me with facts. She followed up with another tweet saying that the reporter was going to jail for repeating extremely public information. Ironic. Nikki would have 100% lost this lawsuit since it was public knowledge that Nikki was supporting her brother during his trial. Because if you don't know, Nikki's husband isn't the only one guilty of sex crimes. Oh, her my brother God. Jelani. All 11? Lonnie Mirage was sentenced to 25 years to life in prison for predatory sexual assault against a child. Authorities arrested Jelani and... Okay, 
See, I had like brother or not. How do you how how are you supporting this? I, like how how are you like? I'm sorry. I like I don't want to I don't want to see you. I don't want to have a, no association with you. you like at your speaking of P diddler. P diddler. That is actually hilarious, bro. Uh, what do we? What is this? Uh, the Diddy lawsuit opens up a whole new angle on Michael Jackson. <gasps> oh my God! Why are they bringing Michael Jackson into this man? Let him rest in peace, bro. What is this? The more you look into the music industry, the more you see this this weird pattern, bro. Everyone who steps out of line and starts speaking out about how artists are treated, about how executives manipulate the industry and abuse their power, every one of them are slandered, smeared, and sometimes even suicide suicided. Probably all coincidence, though. This is eight minutes long. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say facts. I, like what, what? What? What are we doing here? Is is this facts? Let me. Everyone who steps out of line starts speaking out how artists are treated, um, about how executives manipulate the industry and abuse their power. Every one of them are slandered, smear. So wait, what is he saying? What? Why? Why? Why do? A new angle. Did Michael Jackson speak out on how artists are treated or something? Connection with the case in December of 2015 after he was accused of repeatedly. I'm be like, I'm be real. I it's think not supporting Diddy. It explains everything going on behind the scenes. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think Diddy actually just probably weird though. Like, <laughs> I think Diddy absolutely, like, actually is like, I think he, I don't know, bro. Like, just from the stuff that I'm seeing and hearing, it's like, I would not be surprised if people get down like that. R wording his stepdaughter beginning when she was just 11 years old. This shit makes According me sick. to Bossip, Jelani was an employee for Nikki at the time. While in custody, he suffered from an unknown medical condition that required him to be arranged at Nassau University Medical Center. According I'm sorry, med medical condition, mental condition, or whatever. I don't care. That's like, if you're messing with a child, like, what the fuck? What, like, there ha ha there's no excuse for that, bro to the New York Post, Nicki Minaj promptly paid her brother's $100,000 bail using two of her houses in Baldwin, Long Island as collateral. It had to be something. It, it had to be something. I'm trying to think uh, like how or what would make Nicki think that this was like smart. I'm thinking that maybe he was like spinning it like this was all made up and he's innocent and he was crying and they grew up together. And in Nicki's eyes, she could never see her brother doing anything like this. That's what I'd like, because it's like, why would you like, like what? A little girl is coming to you and telling you this and like, you're... Uh, uh. Adderall. According to a source close to Nikki, she was prepared to do anything for her brother. Nikki was willing to give up any asset to ensure she had enough money to protect her brother. A grand jury in New York's Nassau County... I've seen that Twitter video. Did he definitely did that shit? But the video is actually about how they smeared MJ despite publicly available reports from the FBI, etc. Indicted Jelani Mirage on felony sexual assault against a child in April of 2016. He was also indicted on two felony counts of sexual conduct against a child and endangering the welfare of a child. He pled not guilty to the charges, asserting his innocence and denying the charges brought against him. Since he pled not guilty, Jelani seeked to have the prosecution prove the case against him beyond a reasonable doubt during the trial in October of 2017. Although Nikki never commented publicly on the charges against Jelani, his attorney, David Schwartz, told media outlets that Nikki may attend part of her brother's trial and supports him 100%. In November of 2017, Nassau County Court found Jelani Mirage guilty of predatory sexual assault. And you might as well just add rapper Takashi69 to the Nicki Minaj sex crime triangle as her first number one song came from their collaboration, Trolls. In October of 2015, Daniel Hernandez pled guilty to a felony- yeah, 6 9 made Nicki Minaj thoughts count of use of a child in a sexual performance. He was charged with three counts of the offense after a February 2015 incident in which he had physical contact with a 13-year-old girl and later distributed videos of the incident online as a part of a music video. Wait, I remember this though. I remember him talking about this though. 
In the video, the child engages in oral sexual intercourse with the separately charged defendant, Taquan Anderson, while the defendant, Daniel Hernandez, stands behind the child making a thrusting motion with his pelvis and smacking her on the buttocks. The child is nude in the video. In an interview with- Wait, no, I don't remember that one. There was some, I, Cause I remember the interview where he was talking about, I don't remember hearing any of that though. Like what? DJ Academics 6 9 denied knowing the girl was a minor, but Takashi's legal situation was very much public knowledge before Nikki and 6 9s first collaboration. Most artists in the industry avoided working with Takashi due to this charge, but Nikki didn't seem to mind. Some people, particularly Nicki Minaj fans, look at her involvement with sexual predators as strictly coincidental. Her brother could have lived a double life. She probably genuinely thought he was a good, innocent man and was just as shocked as we were when the charges were made. I said the same thing. Patrick CC. They probably think she financially supported him because she is a good sister. Her husband's case was in 1990. Now this, I don't know. I don't know how you can really explain this. This nigga has multiple mug shots. He has a scar on his forehead. He looked like he just stole something. He don't want nobody to know about it. It's like he got, he had all the signs and she still, and she still like, she still is with him. So I don't know. 95 before she ever knew him. And he I was can't, I, I can't, I can't assess this situation. 16 years old. Maybe Nikki believes he is a changed man and they're the mug shots though. The the mug the mug shots though. There's literally no I don't I I tried to defend this and I I tried to to play that middle person. I can't find it here. Love is so strong she is willing to forgive him. Or maybe she genuinely believes he was falsely accused and vilified his whole life. And 6 9 could be chalked up as purely business. 6 9 is a rapper and let's be honest most rappers aren't exactly the most morally righteous people. Yeah, that, that's 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 actually true. like come on bro. Like let's stop trying to like let's stop acting bro. But she still has this massive gray cloud of questionable associations that makes it really hard for fans to defend her, especially when she keeps engaging in wars with other female rappers. In addition to Remy and Cardi, Lotto and Megan Thee Stallion broke Nicki down, but we can't even blame them. You will notice that Minaj did this to herself. Nicki and Atlanta-based rapper Lotto got into some beef after Minaj exposed screenshots of their private conversation. It all started when Minaj was mad at the Grammys for nominating her song Super Freaky Girl in the pop category while Lotto's hit song Big Energy was nominated in the rap category. Super Freaky Girl, where I only rapped on the song, was removed out of rap categories at the Grammys, right? And put in pop. Now, Nikki does have a solid point here. The Grammys categorizations for these songs does seem wrong, and people have suspected that the Grammys have been corrupt for a long time. Lotto responded with a subtweet saying, damn, I can't win for losing. All these awards, nominations, I can't even celebrate. According to Lotto, she attempted to reach out to Nikki and privately address the situation, but Nikki went to Twitter instead. This Karen has probably mentioned my name in over 100 interviews. She said she waited in line for Pink Friday with her Barbie chain on bangs oh no yeah that's it's 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 done bro it's done yo whenever whenever you start oh, I, don't know, I don't know 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 i don't know, I don't know pink hair, but today, Scratch Off decides to be silent, rather than speak up for the black woman she called her biggest inspiration. The two then continued their back and forth on Twitter. Lotto said, Super freaky grandma is married and related to effing rapists. You ain't gonna bully me, bitch. My idol turned rival, now you hating. As you can see, anytime Nikki gets into a beef, the main attack is her association with her- that's the, the, See, that's the thing, whenever someone comes in, like, when- Ever someone is upcoming and you and you immediately hate on them and start bringing out how man you used to watch me like da 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 you want you wanted my shit da, 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 like I was there before it seems like you're bitter like it comes off as bitter and you're 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 you, you're like that you're like that guy that goes to his old high school with the varsity jacket on like I used to do this shit like all time all the time it's like yo dude ew can you leave bro. Like, why, why are you here? Be like, why are you here, bro? <laughs> Her brother and husband. Nikki responded by pointing out Lotto's hypocrisy. Didn't care about when she was begging for features. Didn't care about Kodak's past. Oh my God. Didn't care about the accusations made about Dr. Luke, who produced Big Energy. Oh my God. Newsflash, scratch off. I've never raped anyone. Uh, uh, I've inspired- Oh, uh, uh, wait, did you forgot to bleep? You forgot to bleep? Uh, 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 Patrick, you forgot to bleep? Uh, you, you forgot to bleep, Patrick? Uh, you forgot to bleep? Uh, what? Oh my God.
Millions. You're one of them, bozo. To be clear, Lotto never- <laughs> Why do you read it like that? You're one of them, bozo. <laughs> I've never raped anyone. I've inspired millions. You're one of them, bozo. To be clear, Lotto never accused Nikki of R-wording anyone. She said married and related. The public took Lotto's side and looked at Nikki as a bitter old bully mad at the young rising star who won the BET award That's for what... best female hip hop artist. That's what over it looked Nikki. like. That's but what... Nikki's beef with Lotto is minor compared to how she embarrassed herself trying to attack Megan the Stallion. Megan was the one female rapper that Nikki didn't immediately make enemies with. That's probably because she was like learning her lessons like, yo, okay. I mean, I need to make friends with somebody, bro. I need to be cool with one of these up, up, up and coming uh, girls, bro. I can't like, I can't keep going back and forth, man. After connect, but I ain't gonna lie. I remember when it first dropped and I reacted to it. I said, bro, damn, Meg this Stallion kind of got on her ass. Bro. Like she did her thing, bro. She did her thing, bro. Acting on Instagram Live, the two. This is gonna be our. Rea We're almost done, damn, bro. Who collaborated on Megan's single "Hot Girl Summer" in 2019, which became a huge hit. They even shot a music video together and seemed to be on friendly terms for the short years that followed. Come on now, girl. We all know girls can never be friends for more than three minutes. But in 2021, Minaj fact unfollowed Megan on Instagram, sparking rumors that their friendship was heading south. On an episode of her Queen radio show the following year, Minaj recalled an encounter between them that shifted the status of their friendship. Nikki said, Imagine telling someone you didn't want to drink because you were at the time. Yo, LaShawn, don't act like I'm lying, bruh. Name three, name three friends you had since high school. You can't, bruh. <laughs> you can't, man. I'm possible. And if you if if you're in high school, name three friends you had since middle school. You can't. Possibly you just can't. Pregnant because you were actively trying to have a baby. In typical Nikki fashion, she doesn't mention anyone's name. No, that's actually true though. I want to know how. Like, no, there's it's the super fans, bro. It's the super fans that be on the Reddit's, bro. Because how do they instantly know that somebody unfollowed somebody? Are you constantly refreshing the like page and just looking? Like, geez, bro. But fans suspected it was about Megan. A fan tweeted at Megan, Nicki Minaj is accusing you of encouraging abortion and child endangerment with alcohol. This isn't something to stay quiet on. I hate people who say stuff like that to try to get people to talk about stuff. This isn't something to stay quiet on, bitch. Yo, throw away, throw away the key. Throw away your Twitter account. Like, who do you think you are? And then, like... <laughs> Yo, they, they do everything to, like, try to get people to talk on stuff. And Megan said, lie. Months later, Minaj took subtle digs at Meg on the track Red Ruby to Sleaze, rapping 700 on them horses when we fixing to leave. But I don't fuck with horses since Christopher Reeves. Oh yeah, I remember you don't that. Know. Stallion is a horse. Megan ignored her shots for years until her 2024 song, Hiss, which is an all-encompassing diss track where she takes shots at multiple people in the industry, including Minaj by way of her husband's status as a registered sex offender. Megan raps, these hoes don't be mad at Megan, these hoes mad at Megan's law. That's a bar. I mean, that's just a bar though, bro. Holy shit. What? Holy shit. I'm a sniff. Like, this is bad, bro. This is bad. Y'all gotta stop. Huh? Megan's Law is the name for a federal law in the United States requiring law enforcement authorities to make information available to the public regarding registered sex offenders. This one lyric sent Nikki into one of the worst meltdowns. With Bro, I'm not gonna lie, because I feel like she knew that shit was that shit was hard too. Like it's like, what can she say back to that? We've seen on social media by Celeb. There's not a Nicki Minaj law, bro. Liberty. I don't care. Yes, you do. You just went live. You've already, you, you, you didn't just go live. You immediately went live on Instagram. I'm sorry. That is a lie. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is a lie. It would be different if you brought it up on whenever you did your podcast or something like that. But you heard the song and couldn't even wait. You instantly had to go live and act and act unbothered laughing and everything. You couldn't even show your face in the camera. That's how I knew you was capping. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nicki Minaj. I'm sorry. See that make. That's how you respond to lies. Oh, ex oh my gosh. Wait, Meek, look at this. And then it was like, it, then it was like, it wasn't really even bought up again. It wasn't even bought, like no one even talked about this. She typed three letters, lie. That's all he had to do. Yo, they saying you and Diddy get, get crazy behind the sheets or something. Lie. Instead, I love pussy, bro. Like what? Pussy, greatest thing in the world. What are you talking about, bro? I can never be gay. 
Why did you go? Why did you go crazy like that, bruh? Like what? Thing to stay quiet on, and Megan said, "Lie." Months later, Minaj took subtle digs at Meg on the track "Red Ruby to Sleaze," rapping "700 on them horses when we fixing to leave." I can never, I, I can never be gay. I love, I love pussy way too much. Yo, Meek. That's just, tr you're trying too hard, bro. Eve, but I don't fuck with horses since Christopher Reeves. If you don't know, Stallion is a horse. Megan ignored her shots for years until her 2024 song, Hiss, which is an all-encompassing diss track where she takes shots at multiple people in the industry, including Minaj by way of her husband's status as a registered sex offender. Megan raps, these okay. hoes- oh, Shit, let me fast forward, we heard all that. Oh, here we go. Care. I dare you, I fucking dare you, bitch, to say one more thing about my fuck family, ho. Bullet fragment foot, bitch. Bullet fragment, bullet fragment, bitch. She a bullet fragment, bullet fragment, bitch. Now listen here, ho. Get up on your good foot. Bitch, I said get up on your good foot, not your bad foot. Fuck was that, a diss or a piss? Said it was his, I said piss, that my fans called it piss. Nikki. Chat, only then, only like in a situation like that, is it appropriate to talk about age? <laughs> See, y'all overuse it for anything, man. All right. Y'all overuse it for anything, but I mean, what the fuck did I just see, bro? I promise you, like, I, I, I can't, I, like, a stream is one thing, but to go and boot up an Instagram live and not even show my face and just talk shit to somebody is just, I think you got too much time on your hands, man. He is maniacally mocking. Jesus Christ. The incident where Megan was shot in the foot by Tory Lanez. She then goes on to refer to her husband's rape as 30 year old T. Y'all mad because y'all don't have somebody that loves you and stand 10 toes down behind you. So you bringing up 30 year old T from when this child, when this man was a 15 year old person, child. You bringing up 30 year old T because no man has ever and will ever fucking love you. And uh oh. We, we don't defend. We don't defend. I, I don't think you did. I I don't think you could defend that type of stuff. Like, if, like, no matter what age they were, because like fifteen, like you still like are capable of knowing what's right and wrong and like what you should and should not be doing. That's uh, yeah. And lying on your dead mother, on your dead mama, on your dead, you know, lied on a dead mama. I didn't even hear all this, chat. I remember when we reacted to this. I we didn't he hear all this. <laughs> What? Lied on a dead mama, lied on a dead mama, lied on your, I said, lied on a, a sexy red, she done lied, she lied and she cried and she lied and she cried, she said, she The coke is showing. This is the, like, <laughs> oh God, this is cringe. Like, this is actually hard to watch. She lied and she cried and she lied and she cried and then she lied and she cried. Look at Josh, bro. Like, I, I know you ain't, I know you cannot defend this, bro. <laughs> you can't defend this, bro. Like, what is happening? I asked she line, she cry, cause she got blogs all up up her stupid doofy self ass, if we press I. <laughs> You're too old enough, Granny. <laughs> oh God. Said no way, well, I don't give up, for the rip up. Nikki, aged 41 years old, repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's so petty, bro. That's so petty. Well, I don't give up. Vote for the rip up. Nikki, aged 41 years old, repeatedly mocks Megan's mother who died of brain cancer while claiming that this is her alter ego. I wasn't, I'm laughing at the, I'm still laughing at the uh, thing. Yo, chat. Megan's bar, these hoes mad at Megan's law. Nikki's response bar, bullet fragments. Oh my God. Bullet, bullet fragments, bullet FR, bullet so, fragments. That is so funny, bro. I'm just thinking like. I'm thinking it's how to like chat to really like how I could really like trigger them. Like how I, when I reacted to the basketball, Dante, I, I'm Dante, age 30. <laughs> I'm Dante, age 30, uh, clowns basketball. Roman speaking. Every one of y'all bloggers, you. But I can't, I can't give no con. I, I can't like 
give context that I'm like trolling or nothing. I just got to put I'm done. I'm going to I'm just going to put I'm Dante reacts to basketball to the basketball highlights. I'm going to actually title it like, you know, just like it's a reaction. Two birds, all of y'all. Let me tell y'all something. What my pen don't catch, the universe will. Ask about my prophecies. She didn't drag Megan. She embarrassed herself. Mm. This is literally the same feeling as when you have to sit next to a crackhead on a bus. Oh my god. Damn, you kind of described that perfectly. This is what narcissistic rage looks like. Nikki then took to Twitter to continue expressing her rage. Megan's Law. For a free beat, you could hit Megan Raw. Minaj also did what she does best and bragged about her success, listing several accolades while comparing their respective careers. She even accused Megan of winning fraud. She wrote all this? Listing several Oh my gosh. accolades while comparing their respective careers. She even accused Megan of winning fraudulent awards, seemingly referring to her three Grammys, of which Minaj has none, and- Oh my god, wait. That's, that's like the biggest checkmate. Oh my gosh, that's the biggest checkmate. She should have just replied back to the tweet with just a picture of the, uh, this picture. Like, don't even say nothing. And then make it a meme and have the fans just do it. So anytime she tweets anything, there's a there's 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 an emoji of this right that could just literally be spammed in the comments and repeatedly described her as a flop who uses ghostwriters in the midst of the outburst tmz reported that several let's go back to that meek thing mm. he accused of sucking diddy and he went and say yo i love pussy Weird. i love pussy so much i fuck period pussy and yo i'm so straight i fuck niggas in the ass what more gangster than fucking another nigger see him straight <laughs> Barbs leaked the location of the burial oh, site of Megan's mother on social media. This, a, no, this was this was like people was doing the most. Work. Result: the cemetery notified local authorities and increased the number of security personnel at their facility. She spent days berating Megan on social media, during which she repeatedly mentioned her mother. Nikki also liked hundreds of tweets from fans talking negatively about Megan, many of which mocked her for the shooting. Nikki ultimately released a diss track titled "Bigfoot," where she taunts Megan over her deceased mother, her appearance, and her sexual history including her relationship with ex-boyfriend partisan fontaine you should be the last one talking about like relationships though like come on let's be honest and the last two minutes of this song is a creepy monologue that sounds like a mental breakdown how the things that you lied about even pertaining to your mom you don't want to Megan laughing herself to sleep with this. The producers really saw her having a manic episode and hit record. Nikki, girl, they only asked you to stop covering up predators. Megan has yet to respond to Nikki's diss track. I mean, that was like, it's so crazy because it's like the diss track was kind of just a diss on her. Okay, let me get off this, y'all horny. She seems to be unbothered while she continues to promote Hiss. Hiss was met with widespread critical acclaim and Oh my gosh, bro. That's just how you do it, bro. And debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, making it her third number one single as an artist. Due to the negative attention placed on Nikki following her heated rivalry with Megan, fans began digging into her past and found a questionable old song. The 2009 Lil Twist track, Old Enough, featuring Nicki Minaj, was released when Lil Twist was 16 years old. Nicki raps, You might can get it. You might can hit it, but I gotta run. I know you- It's a bar, bro. Crazy. Crazy ass bar. It, it, it's, it, you, you, it's crazy, okay? It's crazy. And yes, if a dude had did it, it you, it's, you're, you're, you know, what? But it's a bar, bro. Come on. It's rap. Come on, bro. Young, but you know I like that young money. See, little boy, I can be your little teacher. And if you ball, then meet me behind the bleachers. You gotta come. Come hard trying to reach her. Because if we hit it, I might charge you for the feature. Well, What? Wait, so nobody said Nobody said nothing about this when this shit dropped? Jim Dante, also known as Mr. Etheridge, didn't realize what hellhole he had created for Kai, Josh and Bruce. As a typical narcissist, despite saying he doesn't care, he wanted to be on everyone's good side. Number one could imagine what happened to everyone he met. What?
<laughs> I'm so confused. Wait, what? What was the joke? What was what was the joke? Or are, are you just typing? The song is called Old Enough. Featuring oh featuring Oh, it's a little twist song. Nobody was listening to that regardless. No. Oh. But chat, it's a story though. It's like it's a it's a premises. The song is called Old Enough, so it's a premises. It's a it's the premises of the song. It's like that's what it is. That's that's what it is. Um you remember the bar in this this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep doing this. Uh yeah, I do. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Uh we don't need to go there. <laughs> we don't need to go there. Let's let's uh let's uh move on, bro. Or let's 2009 Lil Twist track <laughs> Old Enough featuring Nicki Minaj was released when Lil Twist was 16 years old. Nicki raps, you Uh we heard it. Yeah, that's weird as fuck, bro. What the fuck? We hit it. I might charge you for the feature. While someone can argue that it's just music. I was going to say that, but it was like a bar too far. But then I seen the title of the song, Old Enough. I feel like she was just going along with the premise and use some clever bars. Okay, Nikki, I'm trying. I'm trying. But yo, you're making this like you. You're not beating these allegations. And like the people that you surround yourself with, your brother your husband it's like this shit's normal to you it's like it's just normal so uh who's this who wait chat is this the um she's in on it too chat she's in on it too is this kylie before the before the before the uh, transformation a creative outlet to innocently roleplay various situations. It's just another bullet point on the long list of Nicki's associations with sex crimes. And again, there is no debating that Nicki Minaj fundamentally changed the landscape for female rappers forever. She is a hip-hop legend. But all of this has put a damaging stain on her reputation. And I'm not really sure how she can get back in the good graces of fans. Uh, she's gonna have to... Drop the OnlyFans. <laughs> That'll make them all forget about it. J King. Hey, what's just up, King kidding. Son? Man, you doing it, man? You deserve it, Daddy. From Nikki Chapter of this stream. You know what they said, Chat? You know what they said about this? They said that um, it's a term. It's a term of endearment from where they from. It's like. Like, you know how, like, niggas, like, kiss each other in the cheek and shit like that? But, but where they from, they, it's like, daddy is like a term, a term of endearment. Don't shoot the messenger chat and just, you know. <laughs> chat, I like playing devil's advocate, if y'all couldn't tell by now. But, uh, that's what I heard. Uh. <laughs> You're done, buddy. I'm sorry. You're done. I, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I don't know what's I I don't know what's going on with him. I the fact that he went on a Twitter spree rant makes me believe that there might be a little truth. There there might be some truth to the things that are being said. That's that's all I can think about.